So, uh, looking on the map, Soldier's Quarters is now circled for some reason, and the prison is highlighted. I don't really know why that is, but we should probably go uh, investigate the prison. One of the things I want to do is get the map for the Soldier's Quarters, um, and... I have an idea of how we can do this, but I don't know if I'm going to like it. Uh, let me swap something out real quick. Actually, I don't want this. I want that. Yeah. Yep. So let's go back to the soldiers' quarters just really quickly. Prison, that's what it is, yeah. Okay. So I want to go back here because I want to destroy the doorway. And I want to get the map. No, oh, no. <laughs> I was hoping we could run out behind it. Oh, maybe we can. That was silly. Okay, so what have I learned? What have I learned from this experience? Uh, there isn't much in that room, and blowing up that door with a grenade is not a good idea. That's what we've learned. So we won't do that. We won't do that this time. Oop, I missed the turn. Let's go check out the prison. It's the one place we haven't been yet. I'm really curious, like, what we're missing <laughs> in this area. <clears throat> so this is where all the followers were. Or not the followers, the people who tried to trap the creature. Can I like silently burn the door down possibly? That seems like it might be a possibility. <clears throat> Let's give it a try. Cause I got plenty of fuel. I just took damage from my own fire there. Is that gonna break that door down? No. Yeah, that didn't do anything. All right. <clears throat> so we need, huh. How do we break through doors then? I guess we need explosives? That's so irritating. Let's do some swapping. Yeah, this seems like it's okay. I thought that was an inventory upgrade up there, the little <laughs> binder on top. 
I was like so shocked for a second. Alright. Alright. There are no bricks around? I'm not sure I've seen many. Yeah, I really haven't. I've seen I've seen a grate. I'll take this. See if I can break it with this. This seems like it might be big enough, right? Let's see. Oh, well, it phased through the floor, so. What is the intended way to get through into here, huh? This is just a locked, locked ass locked door. Also a locked door. Oh no. Oh, very no. If you'll pardon me, I have to Blair Witch it right out of here. All right. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I thought I was going to make it. All right, that was not particularly successful. I'm stumped, truly. I'm, I'm really not sure what our goal really should be at the moment. <clears throat> I really don't want to use the generator. Like I'm worried that using that is gonna be, and I, I realize I'm probably progressing through the game right now without using it even once. <laughs> like, I'm probably making this a lot harder on myself than I should, but. I don't know. I mean, I, we just saved, let's give it a try. Prison looks well lit. Thing. So that will basically always summon it right there. Got it. So I think, hmm. I have an idea. All right, we're gonna abandon plan, explode this without dynamite.
and I'm gonna take a very long detour to push this down in front of that thing's hidey hole. Mana says barrel pushing content. Let's go. Indeed. You're welcome, everyone. This is the gameplay you've been looking for. All right. Roll this explosive barrel just down the hill. So we're going to play real creatively. I want to test something. Look at that. Ha 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 ha. I think that blew up that door. Keep my shorts. <clears throat> All right. So let's go see if our experiment was a success, shall we? Because if it is, we have another plan. Eat shit. <laughs> Get wrecked. We showed him. All right, well, super good to know how that works. So, theoretically, we could also open the same doorway in the, uh, in the prison, using the same strategy. So what we'll want to do there, then, is... Take an explosive barrel, drag it to the prison, put it in front of that door, and then throw a wine bottle at it. And thankfully, we have space in our inventory for one bottle, which is great. So let's begin working, shall we? I am going to need to take a small detour down to wine storage, but that shouldn't be too hard. Splinter says, wow, this is giving me flashbacks to Half-Life 2. Yeah, baby. We're playing this like a Source game.
Alright, just gotta keep pushing this crate. Cider Martin is raiding with a party of 15. Hey, Cider Martin. Thanks for raiding. How are you doing, everyone? All right. So we're going to leave that there for now so that it can't explode it by accident. We're going to run back up to our base. Slam the door behind us. Press lock. Save. Look at that. All right. Let's go ahead and take a take a walk down there now. Yeah, all these viewers just showed up in time for uh, for watching us push barrels around in order to gimmick the game into breaking doors open. I didn't grab my wine bottle. Oh no. Uh, I don't want to grab it right now because I turned on the power. Oops. Alright. Uh, I guess I have a... I have an oil thingy. Should be fine. So, to explain to all the new viewers in chat, what we are doing right now is manipulating the game's AI so that the enemy monster blows up a door for us. How do we do that, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. We position an explosive barrel in front of a door and then throw something at it so that the monster gets mad. Where is he? Oh boy, that's not the spot I wanted him to be in. Okay. Yep. That's bad. That's not good. All right, we're in the safe room. We did it. Oh, cool. We didn't really lose that much. Fill this up. Because we need more room in our inventory anyway. We have so much fuel. Nothing to worry about. Let's go grab an empty bottle from the wine cellar, shall we? This should be fun. All right. Now that the monster has forgotten where we are. Just gotta wander down to the wine cellar. And this should be relatively simple. Why, was, why did I just hear rats? Thought we killed all the rats down here. Alrighty, so wine cellar, duck in, grab empty bottle, uh, one should be enough. Alright, now we should be able to make the uh, barrel explode, theoretically speaking. Oop, uh, did I want to go this way? Yes I did. Oh, no, did not want to go this way. That's dangerous. The monster goes up there. This is the way we wanted to go. Alrighty. 
And we can save as well, because we moved everything to where we wanted it to and used some fuel. There we go. Saved. We're good. Let's do it. Let's try to trick the monster into attacking this thing again. Now, I don't know if this will work. We got to make it try. And then worst case scenario, I just throw a grenade at it. We call it a day. We just call it a day, folks. We just call it a day by throwing a grenade at it. All right. Was there a survivor somewhere around here? Did I just hear someone? Oh wow, there was a empty glass container right there. Great for us. Oh boy. Oh no. Ah. What happened to us? We got we got blown up. I threw my grenade at the wrong time. That's what happened. All right. Uh I guess in this case I mean <sighs> Molotovs are not actually that rare. Oh, you know what I can do? Let's try let's try some other immersive sim interactions real quick. Splinter says sounds like a German prisoner. We know there's an officer hidden down there. Um or at least a a, a person who uh our commander thought was an officer. So maybe that's who that is. All right, plan Numero dos. We're going to uh, light the barrel on fire like we're a Looney Tunes character and then run away from the explosion and pray that it works. Because I want to get in that room. And this is the best way to do that. Look at me all sneaky and quiet. Alright, uh, I want to give it as much space as possible. So like right here, maybe? All right, let's see if this instantly kills me. Are you going to seriously tell me that's not going to explode the barrel? Oh, no, it, it exploded the barrel, all right. Look, using this to look out the geometry if I can. See when the monster wanders by. Oh no, it got me. Where is it? Uh, I guess it kind of got me. That's not too bad. That's a fine sacrifice for what we achieved. All right. We have bandages in our inventory, so we're actually doing okay right now. Yeah, not the worst. Not the worst situation we've gotten ourselves into. 
Oh, Raph is here. Wait until it turns midnight so I can buy some games on the Switch. Hoo hoo hoo. Well, hey, Raph. Thanks for thanks for watching. All right, sweet deal. We still have our two med kits. I hate that we can't easily organize the inventory. I wish I could like press select to sort it. <laughs> you know, items don't, uh... yeah, items don't disappear in the environment. So I can just like put stuff down even though it doesn't well, maybe sticking it into the environment isn't a great idea, but uh, stuff doesn't disappear. So I can just like put stuff. Huh, <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah, like that. That's fine, we'll just, we'll just drop some stuff. That's fine. That's okay. Maybe I'll put this on the table. Make it all atmospheric like. Yeah, look at that. Not bad. All right. Now we can go explore that room sufficiently. Like how good we are at this. Unbelievable. Bask says, Raf, is there some Switch sale? Raf says, it's the Capcom sale. Oh, the Capcom sale. Gotcha. Are there any Capcom games I want on Switch right now? I'm trying to think what Capcom games have come out that I I would play on Switch. Maybe the Mega Man GBA collections? Pff, all right. Broke right into here. Didn't really get us much other than the map. But that is what we wanted. We wanted to find all the maps. We can't get into there because we don't have bolt cutters yet. Oh dear. The monster found us. But now that I got all the maps, we can now take a look at all of the areas uh, together. So let's do that. Alrighty, let's see here. So we have, oh, so the prison is pretty small. There's processing in the interrogation room. We've been to the interrogation room and then there's just two other little areas in the warden's office. Okay. So, I guess we just need to find that one soldier. Sounds like a good time. Open door, come on. Here we go. Why I oughta. Raph says, I like the idea of playing Phoenix right on the go. Yeah. That makes sense. I originally played those games on DS, so I relate. All right, so now we just gotta find the prisoner. Oh.
You know, if I was like faster on the draw, I probably could have scared the enemy away, but <laughs> Uh What was the guy saying? Does anyone in chat speak German? Cuz I don't. <laughs> Maybe I can scare the monster away by using the generator. We have enough uh, fuel to last us forever. Splinter says, I do. He was mostly saying, help me. Bitta means please, right? Yeah. I knew that. And then uh, he said some word in there that I was familiar with like I don't remember I don't remember which one it was if he's if he's yelling it when we come back I'll know but Can't get in there. It's something night, right? What does Nyx mean? Oh. Not. Please let me go. Yeah, I get it. Okay, so the monster will be in there. Vider. I'm guessing I have to... Wait, what? Are you for real? Alright. Uh... Close it. Close the tunnels, probably, is what he's talking about. Yeah, it's calm if I knew meant it, it is coming. Bang, bang. We got we got destroyed. We just got completely blown up. All right. Uh, I have to figure out how to open the door so that I can probably get to the bolt cutters, which will change everything for us. So how do we do that? This is our conundrum. I like that we have infinite sprint. That is really nice. I do dislike that it's not toggle sprint. You have to hold the button down. That is a little janky. So you're like holding down the left stick. So I get why it was a secondary control scheme now, but I see if I go around here, I should be able to sneak in. What does Heimat mean? Hello? 
Ist jemand da? Schließt das wieder! Ich kann es hören! Alright, yeah, I need the light on. Oop. Alright, so let's go turn the light on and then drag some stuff around and blow some stuff up and, you know, do bunker things. I, I'm just, so the thing about the game that I'm finding a little bit interesting and a little bit confusing is just how we're supposed to open doors. Because it really does feel like I'm missing something. Because <laughs> it's like, do, do I really just have to use grenades to open wooden little wooden doors? Is that really the answer? I have to use grenades or blow them up? I mean, that's fine. We'll do it. Now I run back to despawn the monster. And it's good because we broke open the door. We'll save ourselves some time as well. And now I can also turn off the generator. All right, progress. Wow. They used a lot of fuel for what was effectively only about five minutes. How did anyone keep this thing fueled in the past? Thank you, Splinter, for providing the translations in the chat. Er, no, I want this. Yes. All right, so we got the monster uh, out of the way for now. In as much as we can get the monster out of the way for now. We still have tons of fuel too, like in the box. We have like six or seven containers because we haven't used it at all yet. Like that was technically the first time in this run, I think where we even had it on, right? I'm assuming Gott in Himmel means God in Heaven? He is second from the last. Is 
Is it coming for me? It's coming for me. Hey, buddy. Ah, the power needs to be turned on. Ah! <laughs> oh, that startled me. I didn't think he could go through that hole. So when I turned and he was there, it completely shocked me. <laughs> oh, whew. Whew. got me pretty good. All right, uh... Okay, we need the energy on, so we'll just turn this back on and head back. And we'll grab the bolt cutters and we'll run back and then we'll we'll be nice to the man and we will turn we'll close his cell afterward and grant him life. Haha. <laughs> We tricked the game's AI because it just despawned the monster right as it was spawning. Wait, what? How'd that happen? How dare you? I walked right into the claw. The claw. Uh... That was shameful. That was embarrassing. Last as zoo, let it happen. Why? Why would he be saying that? <laughs> the flag looked white for a second. I thought it was like surrendering. Oh, shoot. I didn't turn the generator back on. Silly me. All right, uh, we'll try this one more time. You like really want to run so that you maximize the time you have with the fuel, but I need to I need to just use the fuel. Like I need to stop acting like it's such a precious precious resource because we have so much of it. So just slowly walk. I like how my shadow holds out. Look on the wall. My shadow holds the wrench out. Like, ridiculously far. I'm literally just holding it just straight out. <laughs> Very funny. that in a second. Now that that dude died, we just gotta run out of here as quickly as we can and turn the generator back off because I don't want to waste all the fuel now. Because we don't need the fuel anymore. 
Or we don't need the light anymore. There we go. Yeah, we're in a little worse for wear on uh, on that. We're about half full, but that's fine. I can sacrifice one container to fill the fuel back up a little bit. All right. There we go. Look at that. We got our fuel back up. All right, so now we can go grab the bolt cutters and we'll finally have bolt cutters. That's pretty sick. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, do I want to combine these? Yes. There we go. All right, our inventory is looking pretty good right now. 